Today we're going to begin talking about lines, rays, and angles. Uh, we're going to begin with our vocabulary words. So the first thing we have here is a point. A point is an exact location in space. So here's an example of a point over here. We usually find points on lines like this here. Um, these two points here are on line. These two here are at the end of the line separating a line segment out. Um, this line could continue. So a line is a straight path of points that continues without end in both directions. So here we have a line. Now sometimes we'll have a line with arrows at the end signifying that it continues. Other times we'll have a line that is just straight with no necessarily no actual way for sure to tell that it continues other than it doesn't end with a point it continues through the point so here we have it continuing through the point here it's continuing through the point here uh, when it stops here it's called a line segment so here we have a line segment is a part of a line between two endpoints. So here we have one endpoint, here we have another endpoint. This line that I just drew here could also be a line segment, but only the part in between these two endpoints could then be called a line segment. Our next vocabulary word is array. Array is a part of a line that has one endpoint and continues without end in one direction. So as you can see from our example here, we have one endpoint and then the line continues in one direction. The next vocabulary word we have is an angle. An angle is formed by two rays or line segments that have the same endpoint. So notice we have our endpoint right here in the middle and one ray continues out, another ray continues out this direction to form an angle. The vertex is an endpoint shared between two line segments or rays. So the vertex would be the center of the angle would then be a vertex because we're conjoining two rays together. A right angle is a square corner or 90 degree angle. So our books, our desks, pretty much everything we have, a lot of the stuff we use has a right angle. Now a right angle may look like this, or to signify that it is a right angle, sometimes you'll find a box in the corner, which will then tell you that it is a right angle. So if it has a box in the corner, it's automatically a right angle. If it does not have a box in the corner, then there's a chance it could be close to a acute angle or an obtuse angle, so it just depends. A straight angle is like a straight line. So a straight angle is like a straight line. It forms a straight line or a 180 degree angle. So right here we would have our vertex. It joins here, goes this direction, and goes this direction. It's a straight line. It's 180 degrees in measurement. An acute angle is an angle less than a right angle or less than 90 degrees. So an acute angle is going to be less than 90 degrees. So this is an acute angle. And then we have an obtuse angle is an angle greater than a right angle and less than a straight angle, an angle between 90 and 180 degrees. So it's going to be in between a right angle. Notice if, it was, if this was a right angle, our line would come up this direction here, would come up almost straight up. So we can see that that's more than 90 degrees, but at the same time, it's less 
than our 180 degrees, which would come straight out this direction here. So because it's less on both of those, it's, it's more than 90 and less than 180, it becomes an obtuse angle. On this next slide here, we are going to be naming our various geometrical um, lines here. So our first one up here is line AB. Now we call it line AB because we have our A here and our B here and their points on the line. So we're going to take our line AB and we are going to say that they are line. The way we say it's a line is we draw a line up above it with our little arrows and below it we write A B so that is now designated as line A B down here below here we have C we have D E D E is a line segment so to signify it as a line segment or identify it as a line segment we're just going to put a line above it and we're going to write D That didn't work very well. Let's try and correct that a little bit better. Line. D, E. Over here we have one endpoint and a line. So we have a ray. And this is going to be ray F, G. And for a ray, we're just going to draw a line with one arrow at the end and we're gonna put F G and that's going to identify that as a ray F G and then our last one up here is a point and we don't have a specific line or anything that goes above it for point so it is just point H so we're gonna go O I N T point H. We'll, we'll identify that dot as point H. Our next slide here, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're only we're going to be identifying specific lines or specific angles. So this first angle right here, this is a right angle. And so the way we write a right angle is by doing an angle and we call it P Q R. Now it's very important when we are doing this that we have our angle, our our middle, our vertex, our middle point here. That letter has to be in the middle. So Q, P, Q, R. Okay. On our next one here, this is going to be an acute angle. And it's this one right here, L, M, N. We're going to write it as angle L, M, N. Notice I still use the angle symbol so that I know that I'm talking about an angle. On our next one here, we have T U V. Notice I'm going straight in order. T U, my middle is going to be where my vertex is, is going to be in the middle when I'm naming it. So I'm going to have angle T. U, V, and then I have my straight angle down below here, which is a W, X, Z, so we're going to go angle once again, W, X, Z. Now an angle is always going to have three letters associated with it. So we just have to find out what those three letters are. Now up top here 
we have one last one here. We have angle A, B, C. And we can tell A, B, C is a right angle because just as this one here is a right angle, A, B, C is going to be a right angle because it has the square drawn on it. So that tells us that it is a square and so it is going to be a right angle. Sometimes it's hard to write an, a right angle to exact square on these things on the whiteboard or on the, this. And so sometimes we just put the square in there just so that we know that it is a, supposed to be a right angle. Okay, now we are going to identify specific angles lines or segments using the diagram of these lines. So on this one we are going to do a right angle. So now we gotta find a right angle. If we look here we have a box. That box means that that angle is going to be right. So now we gotta make sure we name the correct angle. Okay. So here we have a B that's our middle, that'd be our vertex. So we could say K, B, Q would be a right angle. So we have to do our angle sign. K, B, Q. Our ray, we have many choices for a ray here. A ray, remember, has one point and, or, well, it technically has two points. A ray has two points, so we have a ray here. We have B to A, which would be a ray. We have a ray B to J. We have a ray right here. Q, Q to R would be a ray. And there are several other ones. See if you can find some. See what you can find. Now we have our lines. Okay, we have a line right here. We have J to L, which would be a line. We have J to K, which could be a line. Okay because that continues up there. We have C to A, which could be a line. We have R to P, which could be a line. Now, specifically with the line, if we're going to say it's a specific line, we have to put the arrows on both sides to say that we're talking about the entire line. These lines... Even though it doesn't show it on here, these arrows, these lines continue all the way up off the board, and they just keep going. So we're sp talking about a specific line here, so I'm going to say J to L. Is a line. I could also say A to C is a line. Once again, I have to do my both arrows. Because if I don't do both arrows and I just do A to C and I do a a line or just without the arrows, so if I were to do, I'm just going to do it right. If I were to go like that and say, which one? P to, P to R. The reason this would not work for me is because if I only say P to R there and with a line, then I'm only talking about the line segment between this R, this dot here, 
and this dot here. Whereas I want to be talking about the entire line. So I have to put my arrows in. Okay, so then we're going to go on to, I'm going to skip a Q angle and I'm going to go down to a line segment. A line segment is what I was just doing there with the line over it. A line segment can be anything, any part of a line. So it could be J to B. It could be B to A. Could be Q to K. Could be J to L. and I'm just, Or K to L. And I'm just going to go with K to L. So my line segment here is going to be K, L. I could also say a line segment could be between Q and B. So I'm going to do that also. Q and B. Now, an acute angle, I'm going to go back up to my acute angle now. An acute angle is the angle that is less than 90 degrees. So if B is a 90 degree angle, then my Q here, or K, is going to be a less, less than 90 degree angle. So I could go B, Q, K. So I could go angle, oh, wrong button, angle, B, Q, K. That would be this angle right here. And as you can see, that is less than 90 degree angle, so that would work fine. I could also have chosen a different angle as long as it is less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angle... I'm going to choose for an obtuse angle I'm going to choose L K Q so I'm going to go this direction L K Q so I'm going to have L K, Q as an obtuse angle. And as a straight angle, a straight angle is anything, any angle that has a vertex that is completely 180 degrees. And for that one, I am going to choose I'm going to choose JBK which is right here, J, B, K. So angle, J, B, K. So now we've kind of gone through how to identify right angles, rays, a line, acute angles, line segments, obtuse angles, straight angles, and a point. And that is our basics or our first step into geometry.